Find the slope of the line that goes through the two points, negative 1 and 2, and 4 and negative 4. So we're given two points, and we know that a line uh, will go through these two points. That is, two points will create a line, and we want to find the slope of that line. Well, we can do this without graphing the line, but just for fun, I'm going to graph it so we can get an idea whether our slope is supposed to be positive or negative, whether it's steep or not so steep. And so I'm going to plot these points. And so what I do is I go over here and I go negative 1 and 2. I go negative 1 here and up 2. There's the first point, right? And then 4 and negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a line through these two points. And there's a line that goes through the two points. So we want to find the slope of that line. And notice one thing from left to right, it goes downhill. And so we can assume one thing, that it's got to be negative. And it looks, pretty, uh, it looks like it's a pretty steep slope, maybe more than one. I don't know. So we have to find it. We're going to use the slope formula over here to uh, find this. And the first thing we do is we take both points, and I'm just going to recopy them. But I'm going to call, arbitrarily call one of them point 0.1. OK, that's supposed to be a P, P1, uh, negative 1 and 2. I'm going to call the other one 0.2. I'm going to make my P a little better. And the other one is what? 4 and negative 4. Now, it doesn't matter which one you pick for 0.1 and which one you pick for 0.2. But once you've decided that, then this becomes x1. In other words, negative 1 becomes x1. And 2 becomes y1. And this becomes x2, because it's from 0.2, and y2. Okay. That's a 2 up there. OK. Now we simply uh, plug these values into the formula, and we get the slope. And they use the letter m to indicate slope. OK, so m is going to equal, well, y2 is, is negative 4, isn't it? And w minus y1, y1 is 2, minus 2 over x2, which happens to be 4 minus a negative 1. I have to be careful here. Minus a negative 1 to keep the integrity of the sign of the negative 1. Now this is going to be on top, negative 6 on top. Okay, And on the bottom, let's get that negative 6 looking better. On the bottom, I'm going to have 4 minus a minus 1, so that's 5. So my slope is negative 6 fifths. Now, once again, given a problem like this, you don't have to graph this line or do any of this. You really just have to take the two points and label one of them P1. It doesn't matter which. I could have labeled this one P1 and this one P2, and then label them, and then plug it in the formula, and you'll get your answer. It doesn't matter which one's P1 or P2. You'll get the same answer. But in this case, we do have a negative slope going downhill, a negative 6 fifths.